Hello everyone, we will continue the topic module pool programming and we are covering line selectability in table control with Wizard. Now, what is our target? On the submit button, we need to restrict those line items to appear. Yes, for those, we already received the payment. So now we will write the logic for the same. I will go to PAI of screen 100. I will write the logic for psi ucom is equal to submit. It is clearly understandable. You want to restrict the line items on the submit button. So we will write the logic if psi ucom is equal to submit. Now, if psi ucom is submit, we will simply fetch the data from this payment table, whatever the new payment table is there. And yes, if the matching records are there, we will delete those line items. So wow, what we will do, I will declare a internal table first. So I will go to top of the program. I will declare a internal table. So firstly, I will declare a structure type, begin of, suppose LTY underscore PAYT. I will take the columns, order number, I will put comma, type, data element of order number. Now I will go for order item number, type, data element of order item number. I will end this particular structure type. There is no need to take item cost because what we want to do, we simply simply want to delete the line items from the internal table and yes, if we are going for order number and order item number, we will get a record. We will get a particular record because these two are the primary keys of the table. Now I will declare internal table and work area. Data. LT underscore PAYT. Type table of. LTY underscore PAYT and now I will declare work area. Type LTY underscore PAYT. Now I will write the logic to fetch that data from our new table. Now, now it's a important point to understand here. Your all that data is in LT underscore final. In LT final, you have all the data. Now, what we will do based upon this, we will fetch that data from the new table. Based upon this, we will fetch that data from the new table, new tables. So how, how we will write the logic. Now we will write if LT underscore final is not initial. And if, because based upon this internal table, we want to fetch that data from the new table, new table. It means we need to firstly check there must be some data into this internal table. Now I will write select. What is first column? Order number. Order item number. From. What is our new table? This is our new table. ZT payment. Now I will store into new internal table. What is the new internal table? LT underscore P A Y T. Now you all know we need to use which keyword 
for all entries in lt underscore final. Now, based upon this LT final, based upon this LT final, we need to fetch that data from the new table, new table. Now, what will be the where condition to fetch that data from the new table? What will be the where condition? Simply, order number will go to the order number of new table. The, and order item number will go to the order item number of the new table. Yes. So we will fetch that data based upon these two columns. So I will write where order number is equal to LT final order number and order item number is equal to LT final order item number. You can simply, simply compare, yes. If we will go for our current example, you have one, order number is one. So this order number one, this order number one will go to new table. This is our new table. This order number one will go to new table. And what are the item numbers? 10, 20, 30. So what will be the item numbers? 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. Now if I will execute, we got the two records. Now LT final has three records. LT underscore P A Y T has two records. Now we simply, simply need to compare. Yes, whenever there is a matching record, we will delete those records. So how, how we will write the logic. I will go for loop at LT underscore final into LWA underscore final. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now, LT final has three records. It means this particular loop will continue three times. Now, this LT underscore PAYT has two records. Now, we will simply, simply compare. Now, this is the important point, especially fresher ask lots of queries here. We need to go for loop here or we need to go for read table for the second internal table or new internal table. We can blindly, blindly go for read table. There's no need to even think also for the loop. You all know. Read table always, always return the first matching record. Just see, if, if we will read this internal table based upon order number and order item number, if we will pass order number also and order item number both, if we will pass both, then in that case, what is the scenario? If I will pass order number one also, if I will pass order number 10, suppose I'm passing both. Have you seen? We will always, always get a single record because order number and order item number, both are the primary keys of the table and we will pass both. If we will pass both, then you can blindly, blindly go for read table. There's no need to even think about the loop. If we are only, only passing order number, then we need to think about loop because for order number one, we might have 10 line item, 20 line item, 30 line item, but we are passing both. So we will blindly, blindly go for read table. So I will go for read table read table lt underscore p a y t 
into lw a underscore p a y p i will write with t now you need to pass both you cannot go for one order number is equal to first work area order number what is first work area order number lw a final order number and now we will go for order item number lw a final order item number now you all know after read table we will check for size sub c if size sub r c equal to zero now i will write if size sub r c equal to zero for every if there is a and if now now if record is matching just think suppose 1 and 10 1 and 10 will go to this work area it will check into this internal table do we have 1 or 10 yes we have 1 or 10 it means size sub rc will be equal to 0 if the record is matching, we need to delete from which internal table? LT final. We need to delete from LT final. You all know LT final, you binded with the table control. It means you should delete from LT final. Now the most important point here. We all know we have a delete internal table operation. Now you can delete based upon where condition also. You can delete based upon index also. Suppose if I will show you where condition. I am writing delete LT underscore final. Then I will show you index also because that is most most important part. Delete LT final where order number is lw a final order number and order item number is lw a final order item number you need to pass both the condition you cannot go for one condition suppose if you are writing where order number only if you will delete based upon order number it will delete all the three records that is not our case. We want to delete 110 and 130. This is one way. Now, now if you do not want to go for where condition, if you want to delete based upon index, index, then how you will write here the most important part. Now, what people will do here? If they do not want to go for where condition, they will do like this. They will write delete LT final index. They will write side tabix. You all know side tabix always return the index of the record. Now this will throw you runtime error and it will give you wrong or it will delete a wrong record also. Just think side tabix always, always changes from loop to loop. Just see, when first record move to work area, for LT final, side tabix is 1. Now, in this internal table, we are looking for matching records based upon order number and order item number. It means after this, whatever the side tabix will be there, that side tabix will be for this second internal table but you want to delete from which internal table first internal table it means just think for the outer internal table side tabix is one but for the inner internal table side tabix is two so system will delete the second record from the internal table but you want to delete the first record so if you are going for index, it is very, very important to understand index always, always changes. If I have five loops, 
for every root for every record of that current internal table index will change so here what is the best possible solution take a variable i am writing lv underscore index is side tabix so whatever the side tabix of this outer loop is there i am storing into one variable now after read table side tabix will change but in this variable we have the index of the outer loop so i will simply simply write lv underscore index and this is the point where i am getting so many queries i am getting runtime error whenever i am going for index because you we are blindly putting a side tabix without considering that side tabix will is different from this and different from this anyways whenever i will show you in that debugging mode you will get more more clarity now i will declare lv underscore index we need to declare also now i will simply write lv underscore index type i Now I will go for our activation. I'll check the syntax. Okay. I think I have it. I should write into table. Into table. Now I will check. I think I mistaken some if condition also. This is right. LT final is not initial. Okay, I'll check the syntax. It is done. I will go to display mode. Yes, I will right click and activate. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we simply simply fetch that data from the new table based upon our data of LT final. We pass order number and order item number. Then our all data it is into this internal table. Our new data is into this internal table. And it is very important to understand we can blindly go for read table. Because we are passing both in the where condition. If we will pass both, there is no confusion. We will always, always get a single record. If the records are matching, we are deleting. If you are deleting based upon where condition, no problem. But if you are deleting based upon index, yes, because index has always good performance rather than where condition, then just think at that point of time, you should not blindly pass side tabix because side tabix for this will be different. For this will be different and you should not delete the uh, wrong records. So we took the index of this outer internal table into one variable because ultimately we want to delete from this internal table. So I deleted based upon that index. In the next video, Whenever we will see in the debugging mode, it will give you 100% clarity. So that's it in this video. Thank you.